Hello and welcome to today's League of Legends Roundup for June 30th, where we cover two games in the LCK and two series in the LPL as well. Obviously, Thursdays being a day that only the East plays, the same as Wednesday. Um, if you haven't watched one of these videos before, clearly I have a lot of stuff on this board. Um, these notes are for me, not necessarily for you to be able to read. I would like you to be able to see this or the bigger parts, but when it comes to the nitty gritty, that's more for me to remember them for you to be able to read legibly. Um, but yeah, that's the deal. I do this every day for the four major regions. So let's get started. Fred at Brian versus HLE, Hanwha Life Esports going into this one. Both were 0 and 4, make or break. Um, game one, Fred at Brian would end up going with Raptor in the jungle over Umpty. They had brought up Raptor um, in, earlier in the week from the Academy or Challenger team. They would take an Infernal to start it off, and we would not have a first blood if it's a Fred at Breon game. There's no first blood, and um, first turret is taken at 12 minutes, Breon getting the turret. Um, Fred at Breon then take a mountain, and we get first blood at 15 minutes, a trade of kills in the river. HLE then take a, a cloud, take another cloud. Um, at 24 minutes, HLE are up 2-1 in kills. Fred at Breon are up 3k in gold. 25 minutes, Fred at Breon end up uh, going 3-0. However, um, they end up being pushed off the Baron. They'd want to fight 3-0. Started the Baron, but got pushed off, getting a kill in the process. Excuse me. Um, at 28 minutes, Fred and Brian go to Cloud Soul point two for one. 31 minutes, HLE want to fight mid 1-0. There's a reset. Fred and Brian take Cloud Soul without um, blood being shed. So at 36 minutes, Fred and Brian are up 6-5 in kills, up 5.5k gold. Henna is 2-1-4 and four on a Twitch. Um, Fred at Brian would end up taking the Baron at 37 minutes, going up 7k gold and win a fight 2-0 afterwards. And then after the Baron expires, they want a fight in the river, I believe in front of Elder. 4-0 at 41 minutes, Henna and Morgan both with doubles, and they would end off of that 13-5. Game 2, Dudu set the tone in top lane, solo killing Morgan at 3 minutes. Dudu on a Gangplank, Morgan on a Nar. HLE would then take an Infernal. Get a kill in mid lane, take a mountain, and then at 12 minutes, get two kills in the river. So HLE are ahead early quite a lot. Um, they're even able to go to Ocean Soul Point before ending laning phase at 17 minutes. Up 4-0 in kills and 1.5k and gold. And 19 minutes, Dudu would get a double kill in mid. Uh, two minutes later, there'd be a trade of kills in mid before HLE take Cloud Soul uncontested without blood being shed. Um, at 24 minutes, HLE want to fight 2-0 and then are um, able to turn and win a fight 2-0 before taking the Baron, giving themselves a 6.5k gold lead. Karis with a double kill in the second part, so there's a 2-1. Um, Fred and Brian try and fight HLE 3v5, and um, HLE end up turning, going 2-0. Karis getting both kills before turning back to the Baron. Karis' Azir ends up being... Um, the make or break for me in this series. I thought he played very well on the Azir. His Sharima shuffles were on point in the key team fights at the end of these games to win. Um, so after they get this Baron, they're up six and a half K gold, uh, 11, three in kills or 11, two Karis is three Oh and four at 28 minutes. Fred at Brian went a fight in the jungle four one henna with a double. Um, what had happened was, uh, HLE were able to expose the Nexus and weren't able to finish or pretty much expose the nexus i know they three inhibbed um fred at Brian, and then they elder came up so they tried to go get elder and fred at Brian had deep wards and were able to actually out think hle and cheese them a bit and were able to win a fight 4-1 and in doing so actually were able to take the elder at 30 minutes however hle were able to take the Baron because Fred Brian had the Elder, but also all these minions were taking down the Nexus turrets and taking down the Nexus. So they had to recall to clear the minions, which allowed um, HLE to take Baron, and then they would end with the Baron 5-0, Dudu with the Quadra on Gangplank to end. Final score 17 to 7. Game three, um, HLE would take a cloud before it'd get first blood at 14 minutes. Fred Brian winning a fight 2-1 and bot. Um, Bro would then get Pryo over the Drake in doing so, so they took a Hex tech after getting a kill. And laning phase ends at 17 minutes, gold tied, Fred Brian up 3-1 and kills. HLE would then take an Ocean, 
HLE would get a pick at 21 minutes to give them Barron at a 2.5K lead. Uh, at 25 minutes, HLE get a pick, which leads to Ocean Soul Point. They would then get another pick. Um, and at 28 minutes, HLE are up 4-3 and six and uh, just 6K gold. So there's actually only seven kills in the game in HLE of a 6K gold at 28 minutes. Um, and then HLE would end shortly thereafter, actually. At 28 minutes, they win a fight in the River 3-0, Samdi with a triple. And then as they push to end, they kill the final two members of Fred Brian, getting a double kill. Um, so Samdi, I guess, a pseudo-penta, if you will. Final score, 9-3. I thought Karras, like I said, was MVP because in this fight in the river, he played a key part in um, dealing damage in that fight and have a little crowd control with his uh, shuffles. So I thought Karras played a great game. I thought Dudu played a great game too, obviously, solo killing Morgan early. Um, Samdi showed up late, but showed up. So, you know, it is what it is. These two teams are 0-4. Neither one really give you a lot to go off of. Um... Fred and Brian have less excuses than HLE, though. They are the older of the two teams. Series 2 between Nong Shim Red Force and Gen G. This one was a clear 2-0. Um, Nong Shim were outdrafted big time in both games. Uh, they tried to go with Nami and Bot to keep it away from Gen G, and it only hurt them more. Um, so in game 1, Gen G would dive Bot at 5 minutes, dive Bot again 3 minutes later, and get a kill mid, all before 9 minutes into this game. Uh... Red Force took an Infernal at 14 minutes. R Ruler would solo kill Ghost. Ruler on a Lucian. Ghost on the Zeri. This would put Gen G up 4 0 and 2.5k gold by 15 minutes. Gen G then would take a Cloud. Win a fight in mid 3 2. Take a Mountain. Red Force would get a kill top at 23 minutes. Gen G respond by getting a pick. Uh, 27 minutes. Red Force get a pick to take a Mountain. And at 28 minutes, Gen G are up 8 4. 4K gold, and Ruler is 3-1-3. and three. So really, despite Gen G having twice as many kills as uh, Red Force, the gold lead wasn't growing by that much. Like, 4K at 28 minutes isn't all that much. It's one whole item across five teams. So really, it's just, I mean, five players. It's all just components. Um, however, Ruler is doing work on the Lucian 3-1-3. and three, Ends up being MVP. Um... Gen G then get a pick at 29 minutes, gives them Baron and an 8K, uh, 6K gold lead. They use the Baron to go to Mountain Soul Point, and then they end after the Baron expires 3-0, Ruler with a double as they push to end. Final score 12-4. Game 2, Gen G started off strong once again by diving bot lane 1-for-1. One one. Um, however, after the reset, um, Red Force would take a cloud. At 9 minutes, Gen G would take the Rift Herald and get punished 1-0. Then, off of that 1-0, Red Force went bot lane to get Pryo and took a Mountain. At 12 minutes, Red Force were actually up when laning phase ended. 2-1 in kills, but gold was still tied. Uh, Gen G would then go top at 12 minutes, take an Infernal. Both teams would exchange picks at 19 and 20 minutes. At 23 minutes, Gen G won a fight 2-0. Started the Baron, but ended up having to turn off of it, winning a fight 2-0, 3v5. Chovy with a double kill, but they did not feel safe enough to do the Baron at that time. Uh, two minutes later, they would end up taking the Baron. They got a pick and then were able to take it, going up 5k gold at 25 minutes. They used that to take an Infernal, and then they would end with the Baron. Um, at the time, Gen G up 8-3. Ruler was 2-0-5 on an Ash. Like I said, ends up being MVP. His kill participation was there. Dealt big damage. And in the final fight of 27 minutes, 5-2 in mid, Doran had a double um, to clear out house and end it. So, Gen G continue to be one of the better teams in the world. Uh, my power rankings are a little bit behind schedule. They will be out today. Um, just, I realize my LCK numbers are, my data somewhere, somehow I have had a typo and it has caused me problems. So, I think I have to go back through all the games real fast and um, assess where I went wrong. But nevertheless, the power rankings will be out. The reason why I'm talking about that is because obviously Gen G are fourth, and I'm going to guess they stay near the top. So stay tuned for that later today. Um, but this video is not done. On to the LPL. Okay, now for the LPL. Uh, first matchup, 1 and 4 versus 1 and 4, BLG and IG. Similar to Fred Brian and HLE, this was make or break, especially for BLG. No excuses with the roster they have. They end up coming out on top 2 to 1. But this was definitely closer than you would like it to be. 
IG going with a double 80 carry bot lane um, on and wink instead of Jin Lu. And honestly, I mean, the team looked the same. They looked okay. They did some weird stuff in bot, which is fine. I am fine with weird stuff when you're not as good as your opponent. However, BLG have kind of stunk, so you probably could have gotten away with some meta picks if you wanted to, um, which they did in uh, game two, the game they won, ironically enough. But nevertheless, so game one, IG pull out the Amumu in the um, support role. And they would get a level one kill as a result. Um, BLG then respond by going mid lane. Both teams would take a trip top lane at seven and ten minutes respectively. At 12 minutes, IG take an ocean after a fight that goes two to two. Then BLG would make two trips bot lane before laning phase ends at 15 minutes. BLG up six foreign kills, 1k gold. Weiwei is 3-1-3 and three on the Viego. He ends up being MVP, played very well in all three games, even the loss. BLG took an Infernal. At 18 minutes, IG win a fight in mid 4-1. Zika with a double on Gwen. Um, IG then actually take a Baron at 21 minutes. However, BLG win the fight 4-3. Bin and June exchanging double kills. And um, IG up 2k gold. Uh, right after that, BLG would take a Cloud winning... Uh, BLG would take a cloud after a fight that goes one for one. Um, after the Baron's over and all these fights are over, the score is tied 12 to 12 in kills. Crisp is 2-2-8 two, two, and eight on BLG with the um, Renata. I thought I thought um, Crisp played one of his better series of the season. Game three, I thought he actually was the best player on the team, but I went away from my normal strat and went with Weiwei Wei as MVP, but I really almost picked Crisp. Um... June was 3-2-7 and seven at this time on the Xin Zhao. At 27 minutes, BLG would take a Baron themselves, 4-1. to one. Wei Wei with a triple. IG would get a kill after. And now gold was all tied up. IG would take a Cloud. And BLG would get a kill top lane with the Baron. And then at 33 minutes, Ed end through mid. Doggo and Wei Wei both with double kills. Final score 22-14. to 14. Um, Game 2. BLG would actually dominate the early game. Weiwei put um, June in quite a hole. Um, really got ahead. They they would uh, go top lane at 6 minutes. And then Bin was actually able to solo kill Zika in that matchup at 8 minutes. Bin on the Jax and um, Zika on the Camille. IG would then take an Ocean and they would dive top again at 8 minutes. IG would get a pick, but laning phase would end at 12 minutes. BLG up 3-1. Um, uh, 2k gold and Bin had all 3 kills. For uh, BLG because they focused top. However, IG would come back. They got a kill at 13 minutes. BLG would take a cloud. At 16 minutes, BLG take a Rift Herald. IG win the fight afterwards 2-0. IG then won a fight 4-0 for the Hextech Drake at 19 minutes. Zika with a double. And at 22 minutes, IG actually were up in kills 8-3. Um, 2K gold and June was 2-0-5. Because they won this big fight around the Hextech Drake, they were able to actually get up in kills and flip the gold. So, 12 minutes, BLG had a 2k lead, and at 22 minutes, 10 minutes later, the gold had flipped 180, and IG had the lead. In June, 205, like I said, he was in a hole. He was getting out farmed like crazy after um, Weiwei kept going top lane and kept uh, raiding June's, um, well, raiding, invading his camps. At 23 minutes, IG would win a fight 3-1, but were pushed off the Baron in a fight that went 1-0 after. IG instead went to Hextech Soul Point. At 26 minutes, On would get a triple kill on Aphelios, which allowed them to take the Baron and give them a 6k lead. They would then um, win a fight in mid 2-1 with the Baron, and then end at 29 minutes 5-0, On with his second triple kill in that fight to clean out house and finish it off 22-5. Game 3, BLG opened it up, um, getting a 2v2 kill at 3 minutes. Crisp was extremely aggressive in the early game, set the tone, and that's why, honestly, I would have made him MVP. Um, 2v2 kill at 3 minutes, BLG go bot lane again at 5 minutes, get a kill. A minute later, they get their second 2v2 kill, and then a skirmish ensues where BLG actually come out ahead 3 for 1, including that 2v2 kill, way, way with a double kill. Um... IG then take a mountain after the reset. At 9 minutes, BLG won a fight in the river 4-0. Wei Wei with another double. BLG would dive bot again at 13 minutes, 2-0. All this prior bot lane gave them a hex tech. IG then took a pick at 14 minutes. Bin would solo kill on at 15 minutes. BLG would get another pick, and laning phase would finally end at 16 minutes. 
BLG up 13-2 in kills, 7.5k gold. And Crisp was 0-0-11 on the Renata. Um, very, very good game out of him. Can't say it enough. 18 minutes, Weiwei would get a double kill mid. BLG would take a cloud. Icon would solo kill Yukai at 19 minutes. Icon on a LeBlanc. Yukai on Lissandra. BLG would take a uh, Baron 3 for 1 at 22 minutes, which, which gave them an 11k gold lead. Uh, a minute later, IG defended their Nexus 1-0. BLG reset and took a cloud to go to cloud soul point. IG then get another pick at 24 minutes, which caused BLG to have to really wait it out. And at 28 minutes, BLG won a fight 4-0 in the jungle to end the series and the game 23-5. Um, we'll see if this turns around BLG split. They needed a win like this. Um, IG going down to 1-5. I mean, it is what it is. RNG and OMG. Now, this is a thing. So, um, RNG underestimated OMG in game one, and they they got punished for it. At six minutes, OMG would steal the Hextech Drake. Uh, Wei was doing it, and, um, excuse me, Aki would come in and kill him. So, there's a trade of kills, one for one. RNG then take a pick. OMG take a cloud. OMG go top, and at 15 minutes, laning phase is already over. Kills are two to two. RNG has a slight gold lead. At 15 minutes, RNG went to fight 3-1 for Rift Herald. And then after that, they kind of lost all control of the game. Um, the next two Drakes, there would be fights that RNG would secure both Drakes, but lose the fights afterwards. So at 16 minutes, RNG take an Ocean. OMG wins a fight 3-0. Shanji with a double on Sejuani. Six minutes later, the same thing would happen, except OMG win the fight 4-0. And Shanji gets a double, but Abel gets a double as well. After the second time this occurred, OMG just went over to Baron and took the Baron, giving them a 4.5k gold lead. With the Baron, they would win a fight in mid 3-0, Shanji with another double. So at 26 minutes after laning phase was, I mean after um, Baron was over, OMG are up 13-4 in kills and Shanji is 8-1-4 on a Sejuani. I don't remember the last time I've ever seen a Sejuani with 8 kills. That is just mind-boggling. OMG go to Ocean Soul Point. At 29 minutes, they take their second Baron, winning a fight 5-1. Cream with a triple gives them a 10k lead. And then they would end after a fight around Ocean, where OMG would take Ocean Soul at 32 minutes. 4-0. Cream and Abel with doubles. Final score, 23-7. Game 2, RNG would make quick work of OMG in response. RNG would outplay a bot dive 1-0 at 4 minutes. OMG would get 2 kills and bot at 7 minutes, which allowed them to take a hex deck. At 12 minutes, RNG would go mid one for one and then go bot lane. Um, OMG would dive top at 14 minutes. And actually, through laning phase in 15 minutes, OMG were ahead. They were ahead in kills 4-3. to three. However, RNG had a 2k gold lead. RNG would then take an Infernal. They would win a fight in the jungle 3-0 at 16 minutes. Xiaohu with a double on Azir. That would lead to an Ocean. 23 minutes, uh, RNG win a fight 2-0. Gives them Baron and a 7.5k gold lead. At this point, Wei was 3-1-2 and two for them on the um, Vi. And RNG are up 8-4 in kills. And they would end with that Baron, real simple. At 25 minutes, RNG winning the fight 5-1 in mid. Xiaohu with the triple on Azir. Final score of game 2, 13-5. Just a really easy, clean win out of RNG. Which is what we expected. Um, game 3, another clean win by RNG. Um, OMG would get a cloud before we would have first blood come at eight minutes rng getting a 2v2 kill gala ends up being mvp i haven't mentioned him yet but he played a very big role in this game three on the jinx so uh they get a 2v2 kill a minute later rng secure the rift tail four to one jahu with a double at 11 minutes there's a fight in the bot side jungle two for two where cream gets both kills for omg uh rng get a kill in the river at 12 minutes and laning phase ends with rng up eight to three in kills Four and a half K gold at 12 minutes. RNG take an Infernal 3-0 at 13 minutes. Gala with a triple. At uh, two minutes later, RNG would secure their second Rift Herald 5-0. Breathe with a double on Nar. RNG then get a pick. And at 18 minutes, they're now up 17 to 3 in kills and 11 K gold. So between 12 minutes and 18 minutes, the kills went from 8 to 3 and 4 and a half K gold to 7 to 3 and 11 K. Just completely blew up. Gala was 7-0-10 at 18 minutes with 100% kill participation. 
Um, in 19 minutes, OMG would actually have to defend their Nexus before Baron even spawned two for two as RNG tried to storm down mid and go to the Nexus turrets. RNG would take an ocean on the reset. They would win a fight at 20 minutes, 2-0 for Baron. And then they would end with the Baron 5-1 and top way with a double. Final score of game three was 26-6. RNG just showing up big in game two and game three. However, game one, they definitely took OMG for granted and they did not let that happen again. Um, so we'll see what goes on going forward with the team. Um, you know, it's just kind of mid-season. RNG had series like this throughout spring where they would lose, be, you know, in weird situations, it didn't make much sense. I mean, I think what they lost when they lost, when they just lost to Victory Five, it was their first loss since losing to like Team We, and losing to Team We is a surprise to say the least if you're RNG. Um, but nevertheless, like I said earlier, my power rankings should be out soon today. I would like them to be out really soon. Um, hopefully, this stat issue is limited to an easy fix. Um, otherwise, it might take an hour or so to fix my error um, and also later today the sneak peek will be out where I'm going to have LPL, LCK and LEC games on it so stay tuned for that to predict the winners comment down below with what do you think of the LCK and LPL games from today like the video if you like it subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content hit the bell so you know when those power rankings do come out today as well as the sneak peek and thank you for watching